Praise be to God. Daily one missionary biography. Today's missionary Frederick Douglass. Date of birth 14-2-1818. Date of death 22-1895. Native place Maryland. Country America. Place of vision America. The gospel message sets forth the eternal truth that God so loved the world and loved each human being equally. In Christ, everyone is equal despite their differences in ethnicity, gender or social status in life. The Bible says there is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is no male and female for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Galatians 3:28. However, some professing Christians have failed to see his truth, deemed themselves better than others, and encouraged slavery. God chose few people to correct this hypocrisy in the church, and one among them was Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass was born into slavery in 1818 in Talbot, Maryland. He was separated from his mother during infancy and was forced to live with his grandmother Betsy Bailey. who too was a slave at the age of 6 he was separated from his grandparents too and was given to hug and sophia old there he used to hear sophia reading the bible and had few opportunities to attend a church somehow he felt that in god he had found a friend he learned to read the bible and pray the more he prayed the more he realized his wretchedness due to sin eventually He gave his heart to Christ and cast all his cares upon him. After being hired to work for William Freeland, Douglas taught other slaves to read the Bible and conducted weekly meetings for them. In 1838, he escaped from his master and reached New Bedford in Massachusetts. He joined the local church and saw a huge difference between Christianity of Christ and Christianity of Christians. His biblical understanding motivated him to stand up for equality in church and society irrespective of color and race. He sharply criticized the Christians who supported slavery by quoting the word of God. The Bible became a guiding light towards his fight for abolishing slavery. Douglas through radical faith in God not only liberated men of their bondages of slavery but also the church from its hypocrisy beloved are you treating everyone around you equally lord use me as an instrument to promote equality in my society amen